Hi friends! If you are looking for a quick and easy ink and watercolor wash project for the holidays, this is it. We are going to start off with a 4x6 card and just draw a line along the bottom. I'm using a Micron 03 pen here. And then start drawing three circles. Start with your circle in the middle for your positioning and then draw a circle on either side. They'll all be roughly the same size and then add little ornament toppers to each one and have these face in different directions so that it looks as if the ornaments are tilted in different directions. The beauty of this technique is that it doesn't need to be precise, so these don't need to be perfect shapes. And then you will take your color. I am mixing up some green. It's a mix of a yellow green and a blue green, and then I'm adding in a bit of blue here. And I've got a fair amount of water on the brush. If you do that, you will get a lighter color out of your paint. Leave a little bit of the white showing through in the paper over on the right side. That will be the reflection in the ornament from the light. And then we'll add some shadow a little bit later. So just trace around the circles of your ornaments. It doesn't matter if the paint goes a little bit outside the lines. In fact, it's nice if it does because it gives you a more of a loose, organic look. And then trace that along the very bottom line as well. And after you lay down some color, pick up some clean water with your brush and just go over that area to extend it downward a little bit. After that dries, you will mix up another medium color. So this is the same shade that you were using before. It's just a bit darker. And you want to place this opposite the reflection. So we've got the reflection over on the right side, so the shadow will be on the opposite bottom lower side. From there, you'll carry that darker color down to the bottom and focus this along the left side of each ornament. So each ornament will cast its own shadow, and that's what we're creating right here. And then you'll pick up some more water on your brush and just smooth out the transition between the lightest shade that you did and then this more medium shade. You'll let that dry and then we'll come back in and place our very darkest value. So you'll have a little bit more pigment and less water on your brush at this point. And we're going along just the very concentrated center of each shadow. So this will be down along the left bottom side of each of those ornaments. And you can see that that is quite a bit darker. We really want some nice contrast in the painting. And then extend that along the left side of each ornament as well. Pick up a bit more clean water on your brush. And then while the darkest shade is still wet, you'll pick up a little bit of that along with that clean water and extend it downward on the painting. That further emphasizes that these ornaments are sitting on some type of ground or tabletop. Let the green dry completely and then come back in with a light yellow and use that to paint the very top of each of your ornaments. And then we'll take a darker yellow and we'll use that to add a bit of contrast to the top of each of these ornaments and that will create the look of gold hardware. Need a tiny brush here. I'm using a size zero to get into those little nooks and crannies. And you're just doing little segments of each of the tops at this point, just so that there's some variation in the yellow. Once again, let your painting dry completely. And then you can come back in with your ink and emphasize any lines that got a little too covered up by the paint. That happened on the tops of my ornaments here, so I'm just emphasizing those a little bit more. And then I'm going to carry it down along the left side of each ornament to further emphasize that side with the shadow. You can do that as well along the shadow on the surface for each of the ornaments. And then your beautiful and very simple and easy painting is complete. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial, and I hope to see you again soon.